Well, hello everyone, I am back again. This is my little journal for the Care December by Everything Art from Casia Avery. Um, this is uh, the sequel on uh, the uh, December um, project that she did, the Advent Calendar. Um, and this is something new. It's 20 days, it's free and it starts tomorrow. So I made this little journal, as you can see, no sewing, um, no gluing, well a little bit of gluing, but not for the pages. Um, and I'm going to leave a link in the corner here somewhere uh, to that journal that I did before and I made a video of that. It's the same. This one is a little bit sturdy uh, than the other one, <laughs> but hey, that doesn't really matter. But uh, I'll leave a link so you can watch that if you like to know how I create these little journals. Uh, this is uh, kind of like a tape when you uh, have an injury on your elbow or your muscles or something, then you tape it with this. Um, I use it to... Uh, make my spines a little bit sturdier and I'm using it on the cover of that um, on the edges of the cover as well just because I, because I want it to be uh, sturdy enough and uh, hold much um, water, paint, anything so just reinforcing it to make sure it's uh, it is sturdy enough so I um, put down three strips of that tape it's very 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 sticky so uh, it's a bit tricky and a little bit frustrating as well <laughs> but uh, I am cutting the corners like you would uh, just wrap a book or something you know how it goes and there are a lot of videos on how to wrap a book uh, so uh, I'm just doing the same but then with uh, with this tape it's not neat um, this this Care December is all about uh, creating freely and loosely with a uh, limited of uh, supplies, supplies that you already have or well substitutes for what she's using. So um, this this journal is the same way. It's just put together stuff uh, um, and just the projects for me because I like to create. Uh, I'm not sure if I am going to tape every uh, single day, so 20 videos, but who knows. Um, so I covered the edges and now I'm going through my little uh, box with uh, scraps. And I chose uh, this color palette. It matches the color palette that I'm going to use for Care December. Uh, blues, um, black, a little bit of... Um, um, pink and um, golden, azo yellow gold or something. I really like that orange, warm orange golden color. Um, so um, now I am going to cover the outside of my journal with uh, scraps of paper and not overthinking it, just using gel medium. This is gel medium from Golden. It was on sale, so that's why I bought it two for the price of one. Uh, but you can use any glue you have. It can be a um, very cheap glue, really doesn't matter. If you know uh, that it will hold and it will stick, then it's just okay. Um, so I'm just going to random choose some papers. Um, most of them you won't find again because I'm going to cover it up with paint anyway. But the whole process of covering the whole outside and inside of my journal is really relaxing. This whole project took me about one hour and ten minutes um, and I did want to show you a lot of it but I don't want my videos to be too long so I uh, edited this video to about 20 minutes I think so just to be able to talk because I like talking and um, to show you what I'm doing. Uh, now here I'm going to use uh, um, some uh, papers from an old book about plants. I really like it because it has a combination of text and uh, images. A little bit of a ledger paper and that paper that you see there is just my blotting paper. Um, I use stencils on it and every leftover bit of paint is going on that blotting paper and uh, I use a lot of that. 
that one is a bit of a tissue paper as well and I stamped and I stenciled uh, on that tissue paper I've, I think I've got a video uh, lying around to um, to be uploaded um, so so I'm going to uh, you can watch that how I create that tissue paper as well it's just for collaging and very uh, easy to uh, use because it's just black and white so nothing special um, so that's that and you can see I'm covering it all this is covered um, and I went a little bit outside my cover as you can see some papers stick out I'm not gonna cut it but I'm just going to rip uh, or tear uh, some of the pieces that I think are too long um, so but you can't see the tape anymore and now I know that it's very very sturdy on the edges I don't want my uh, little book to fall apart after I filled it up and I don't know what we are going to do there are 20 classes so uh, we'll see and if you have done the um, uh, advent calendar series those are free as well so uh, then you will know that it will be a very fun way of well maybe go outside of your com comfort zone and step into another box so done, uh, dried it very well. Um, I left it overnight because it needed to be uh, dry. Uh, now I'm going in with a uh, heavy gesso. This is from Finnebear. Uh, you can use anything you like. I have, a, this is a heavy body gesso and I got um, a very thin one. Because, but I wanted a little bit of texture on my journal. So I'm using this, uh, this heavy one, uh, a spatula. You don't see me use a spatula that much because I can't seem to work with it. Really, <laughs> sometimes I see other people using it and it goes very easy. But you can see I have some white paint on my index finger. So look, I've done it with my fingers. So I covered a little bit of my uh, cover uh, my journal up with uh, gesso and now I'm going in with one of the colors that I'm going to use and you see it's 557 from Amsterdam it's a greenish blue I adore it because mixed with um, white it will give you a light blue mixed with a kind of like a titanium buff or a um, beige color it will give you a pastel blue and if you use it right out of the, the jar, uh, then it will give you a very dark blue. So uh, you can go on and mix that color with anything you like and it will be great. With yellow, it will be very beautiful green. Put the white on there and it will be um, light green or a pastel green. So... Um, I have a little a mixing uh, chart uh, of the colors that I'm going to use. I will show you that when I do a video, I will show you the mixing chart um, because I really needed it and to uh, learn to mix properly. Acacia has um, some um, uh, mixing and color uh, videos as well. So, um, but a hey, I am going to use a stencil, my very, very clean stencil. All my stencils are as clean as this one, uh, but I don't care that much. So I'm just, just taking out my baby wipe and I do want a little bit of the back, that background, that collaged background uh, to reappear. So I'm just going over it with my baby wipe and uh, just try to lift off some of the paint because I got a little bit carried away and that's not bad just work with it uh, and then if you can't seem to get over it just put it aside and uh, do something else and then you get back to it later this is the um, uh, golden um, the gold the ASO connector dome ASO yellow gold something <laughs> Uh, I'll try and make sure to uh, show that in another video as well. So I'm just doing the other side of the cover and doing the same exact same thing. I'm going to take a sip of my tea if you don't mind. So, 
Um, and then I'm going to, you can see, wow, here the paper shines through very well, very well. These are my newest supplies, uh, graphic tint colors in three colors, a green, a blue, and a black. <coughs> and I bought these three just to experiment with them. And I'm just going to scratch, scratch a little bit and try and make some marks with that pencil and I see a kind of a circle and you can see that I emphasized it with that pencil put a little bit water on top of it because it's water soluble and you can move it around and then I thought it just needed a little bit of splatter this is just regular I think it's dilutions paint and I water it down to the consistency I like and then I just splatter it with my brush and um, I really like that. Could have done some white splatters as well, thinking about it now. But anywho, <laughs> I didn't do that. So just, and then just a little bit of mark making to get that black to pop a little bit because it brings out the whole um, page, I think, when you use a little bit of black. Just scribble, scribble. Don't do too much, right here. <laughs> you see me thinking about it. Do I need to put it some there? No. Yes. No. Now this is the end result. Well, not the end result quite yet. But at this moment I thought it was the end. It was just enough. Just put a word on the right and then just leave it. With the leftover paint I just painted on my um, blotting paper and dry it completely before I can work on it again. But this is how I uh, um, use up my leftover paint. A little bit of stamping. These are stamps from Art by Malena. I've got them in that little Tim Holtz tin and uh, these are the ones that I use most often. I'm not a stamper uh, but I do like a little bit of mark making by using stamps and I love this pattern a lot. Just putting it down here and there and you can see adding black will just lift up the whole page. It's not a page, it's my journal cover. But you know what I mean. So, and now I was thinking I was done. But you know me by now. Always trying to do more. And then I thought I need a focal point. Uh, so I took out this image. I really love these old vintage. No, it's not vintage. It's um, kind of like medieval from old paintings from Dutch masters, for example. And I'm just going to uh, fussy cut her a little bit to fit my uh, journal. And I didn't like that uh, piece of headband that was on her shoulders there, so just going to cut that. And uh, I'll show you later how I store my ephemera and my uh, images and other stuff. Um, because I searched for a uh, on YouTube for videos about store your how to store your ephemera and your clippings and that kind of stuff, but uh, I th I need to see everything that I've got. If I don't see it, then I don't know that I have it and I won't use it. So that's a bit of my problem. But I'll show you how I fix that. Now black and the same uh, greenish blue color from Amsterdam, the five five seven, and just. Uh, uh, mixing the black into the blue um, and then just I really love would like to make it a little bit darker and make her stand out a little bit more so I thought that it was good to use the black and the blue and then just put it on my cover around her face but while I was working on it oh I started to regret that I did it but um, I thought, okay, I can stop now and just wipe it away and have a little, well, not a little, kind of a big, uh, yeah, how do you call it? Uh, a spot of blue on my cover and it will look ruined or unfinished or whatever you want to call it, but ugly. So I thought, okay, I'm going to continue and I'm just going to color it all black. I didn't do that in the end, luckily I didn't, uh, but I'm going to go around her face um, and it did need a little bit of dark uh, in the front. So you can see that I am 
carefully going around her face. Uh, this is not watered down paint. I barely use watered down paint. I really like it just the way it is a little, uh, how do you call it? Thick, no, oh, the thick paint. <laughs> Um, and then I thought, okay, now I need to stop and I need to bring everything together because it looks weird right now. You have that beautiful background that I worked on for 45 minutes and I ruined it by using the black paint. But I thought about why not use my stencil again and just lift up the paint like I did earlier. And then I get that nice background back again. This looked even more silly, so I thought, okay, go on, just use that dirty cloth and go through the stencil and lift off the, the paint to make it a little bit more light again. But I think this is, it will be, this will be the style that I'm going to go for in my little journal. So you see, it, it looked quite nice, but it needed more uh, light. So I'm just going to go in with the gesso again, with my fingers, and just go around. And if I do it very lightly, then I will touch the raised areas where there's paint and paper, and it will create a very nice, uh, call that contrast or something the background. So just uh, using a little bit more paint to um, bring it all uh, back to life again <laughs> and just making little marks with my gesso uh, on areas where I think it's too dark and I do make sure that I repeat the same step. So every mark that I make here I will make on the back side of my journal as well to make it look like it's supposed to be there and not covering up a mistake. Well, a mistake in my eyes, eh? And then I need to bring up back the golden color, the, the, the orange gold, this, this echinacronome color back, and it matches the color of the lady's hair and skin tone. Just bringing it back, not to overthink too much. And then I'm almost done with it. So while I was doing this, I was thinking about what to do uh, with a quote. I really wanted a quote um, there on the right, uh, lower right corner. And um, so I was thinking on what to do and I do like the idea of um, found poetry. So I have, uh, you'll see it later, a box with um, cutouts from books, uh, large letter books. And these are just uh, random sentences or words uh, or something that I, sometimes when I watch TV, my hands need to do something. It doesn't really matter what, to crochet or um, diamond painting or whatever, but I, they need to do something. So I take out uh, a book um, or images and I just fussy cut or cut the words out and put them in a box um, just to make sure that my hands uh, have something to do. <laughs> so um, now um, I did use a, a little marker and I've got these um, uh, Posca pens with other colors as well. So i um, using a blue one and a white one here but then I talked about what to use uh, as a sentence uh, and I thought I'm got not going to do it. I'm just going to write down uh, something that um, uh, is important for me anyway. Um, and she looks over her shoulder so I thought okay it's important to never look back. Um, nothing is lost there. Uh, just uh, go forward. And um, I thought it was, that was nice. It, this is going to be a personal book because I think that's 
uh, it's self-love and self-care. Um, and in December, that's a weird month. It is all about family and coming together and love and happiness and peace and not war. And um, it's a pity that we don't do that every day uh, uh, in a year, but that's the way it is. So I'm going to use this care December to think about those things. So I hope you like it. I'll show you uh, here a picture of how it become how it became and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.